and only pound for pound Floyd Money Mayweather. Las Vegas, get up! Get loud! Floyd, I gotta ask you this. Do we start at round 13, or is this a whole new fight, Floyd? Do you just start right from the beginning again, 12 rounds, or, or are you coming in with something we, we all are not expecting? Um, it's all about excitement, you know? Um, Saturday, it's about giving the fans what they wanna see. So, it can start, it could be round one or round 13. I'm all about giving the fans excitement. Are, 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 it almost seems like you're, you're not going to take a decision. You're going for the knockout. Um, well, I'm pretty sure he's coming for the knockout. I'm going for the knockout. So this has to be an, an amazing show. Um, you know, like I said before, I have a, a brilliant team. I have a brilliant game plan. And um, we have to see how it plays out Saturday. Floyd, they say that you can adapt to anything. You can switch your style when you want. You're the greatest counterpuncher in the history of boxing. September 13th, live on Showtime pay-per-view, Mayweather Promotions. What are the fans going to get? Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. Ya tengo asumido como un credo lo que cuesta pechar contra del viento. Hay que ser todo salvaje en campo ajeno y dejar... So amazing to watch this man's career as he upset the world. When he Twelve more rounds to finish what you started. How important is this victory for you? Bueno, eh, esta victoria es muy importante para mí. Vengo a, como dijiste vos, a terminar mi trabajo. Fue, son 12 rounds que tengo para para definir la pelea. Me siento muy bien, me siento contento. Sé que no es lo que parece Mayweather. Para mí se me hizo fácil. Yes, just like you said, I have 12 more rounds to finish the job. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to win. I'm well prepared. And uh, Mayweather isn't what everybody thinks he is. Why is that? Why isn't he what everybody thinks he is? What is it that you saw, Marcos, that can make you say something like that? Well, no es lo que parece porque a mí me parecía otra cosa en el ring, ¿no? Que no lo iba a tocar en ningún momento, que es un que no lo iba a ver arriba del ring. Y bueno, fue todo lo contrario. Estuve ahí, estuve a punto de... Lo tuve contra las cuerdas en varias ocasiones. Bueno, ahora voy más preparado y con mejor condición. When I first analyzed Mayweather, I thought I couldn't touch him. I thought he was going to be fast. But that wasn't the case during the fight. I was able to hit him. I was able to get him against the ropes. And I'm planning to do the same thing again. Are we going for the knockout so that there is no decision here? There is no controversial 117, 111. Do we go for the knockout on this fight, Marcos? Sí, voy a buscar el knockout. Siempre salgo a buscar el knockout. A veces no lo puedo, pero lo puedo ganar por decisión también. Yes, I'm definitely going to look like I'm going to look for the knockout like I always do, but I'll take a victory any which way. If it's a if it's a points victory, that's fine with me. Um, what a remarkable training camp. What else can I say? Truly unbelievable, you know. It's about hard work, dedication, prayers, and belief in a good team. And um, 
the first time out, me and Madonna gave the people excitement. That's what they want to see. It's all about blood, sweat, and tears. And, um, you know, I know I'm knocking at the door. I know I'm almost 40, but I'm still going strong. I still feel good. And I want to go out there and perform and look well and give you guys what you want to see. Um, the first fight was very, very interesting. And hopefully, this fight, this time around, this fight is a lot more exciting. And um, he's always in tip-top shape, you know, from what I've seen. And do he deserve a rematch? Absolutely. You know, I commend him. I commend his team for stepping up to, pl stepping up to the plate and making this happen again because the fans demanded this fight. So I'm a true champion. And a true champion never backs down. So me and myself, I said, let's make it happen again. So, you know, we'll see you guys Saturday. Thanks for the support. Floyd Mayweather joining me now. All right. So what should we expect Saturday night? Leonard Ellaby intimated that you're going to stop him. Um, I'm in tremendous shape. You know, I'm ready to fight. Um, I had a good training camp. And, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still growing, not just, I mean, of course, I can't grow no longer physically, but I'm growing mentally. And um, I'm ready to fight. What else can I say? Well, you know, last time after that fight, you said after everyone said, oh, well, Floyd, you took so many punches. You said, you know what, next time I'm going to make it easier. Oh, well, I didn't. If you go back and look at the punch stats, um, actually, I think he threw like 800 or 900 punches and landed less punches than I did. And I didn't even throw half as many punches as he did. So um, my defense was tight, and uh, we're going to have a great game plan. Oh, did you, you mentioned all access, and I know you watched it. Did it upset you when he said, I'm going to stand in front of him because I'm, I can take Floyd's punches. He didn't hurt me at all, and I know that if I connect this time cleanly, I'm going to take him out. Um, you know, I don't really worry about that. I try to focus and focus on myself. I know for me to be 46 and 0, I've been doing something right. So, you know, we'll just see how the fight play out, you know, come Saturday. I read that you said, you know, obviously you have to deal with us yeah. at Showtime. Okay. That you said you got, after this, you got two more fights, and you said you're going to hang it up. Is that true? Um, as of right now, you know, that's the way I'm feeling, you know. But we don't really know what the future holds for Floyd Mayweather. But um, you know, that's how I've been feeling lately. Bueno, esta vez vengo muy bien preparado. Vengo a hacer historia. And I also want to thank all the press, all the Argentinian press that came all the way over for this fight, and what can I say? I'm ready. I'm ready to make history. También quiero agradecer a Gustavo Arce de Agustino que me ha me ha vestido. La verdad que muy contento por la por la ropa que me ha. Gustavo, ¿cómo se llama? Gustavo Arce. Gustavo Arce. He wants to thank him. He's been dressing him, and he got him this beautiful outfit. Bueno, muchas gracias. Well, and that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, talk to us about what should we expect from you this time around. How will this fight be different? Revancha, ¿por qué va a ser diferente esta revancha? Bueno, no, vengo muy bien preparado, ya lo conozco. Floyd Mayweather no le ha dado mucha revancha a otros boxeadores, por eso es una ventaja para mí conocerlo. You know, I'm very well prepared. Uh, this time around I know him already. I know him. So he's not used to giving rematches, so I got this great opportunity. I know him already. It's going to be a big advantage for me. I think there are a number of people who thought that you dominated the first half of the fight and thought maybe you faded in the second half. How will that be different this time around? Muchos piensan que la primera parte de la pelea tú dominaste, pero ya después como que te cansaste un poco. ¿Cómo va a ser diferente esta vez? Bueno, me he preparado muy bien. Voy a regular un poco el aire, la fuerza. Tirar menos golpe más efectivo y bueno, yo creo que con eso puedo llegar a los 12 rounds del mismo ritmo. Uh, this time around, I'm, I'm well prepared again, but I'm going to pace myself this time around. I'm not going to waste punches. I'm going to pick and choose my punches, and uh, but I'm going to have a good, hard, steady pace. Well, you, he heard Leonard Ellerby, and Leonard Ellerby said basically that Floyd's going to stop him. So he basically intimated he's going to knock you out. What, did you, what was his thoughts when he heard that? ¿Qué pensaste cuando él dijo eso? No, la verdad que, qué sé yo, nunca me ha noqueado no, nadie. Me han tirado, sí, pero me he levantado. 
Pero bueno, si él tiene la oportunidad, que lo aproveche porque yo también voy a, voy a tratar de noquearlo. <laughs> you know, what can I say? Uh, nobody's ever knocked me out before. I've been dropped, but nobody's ever knocked me out before. But uh, yeah, that's good. He's thinking that way. If he has an opportunity to knock me out, I hope he takes advantage of it because I will. Do, does he feel like he needs to stop floor? Because we've already gone the distance. Does he feel like it can't go the distance again? No puede ir la distancia otra vez. Yo vengo preparado para, para la distancia y para si lo tengo que parar y puedo meter un golpe, yo sé que un golpe lo puedo parar y bueno, sería lo mejor, ¿no? Pero vengo preparado para los dos cerrados. Look, uh, I'm ready for anything. I'm ready for 12 rounds. I'm ready to stop them if I, if I land the right punch. Uh, but look, more importantly, I'm ready for anything and uh, if it's going to go 12 rounds, I'm ready for that. Best of luck to you, Chino. in against Roman tomorrow night. Leo, how are you doing? How are you preparing for Mr. Roman tomorrow evening, and how has your camp gone? Oh, no, my camp was great. Uh, we trained 100%. Uh, we trained really hard with my friend, conditioning coach, Daniel Garcia, and we come ready to give the fans a great fight, because that's what we want to do, come and give great fights like the, what the fans want. Leo, so how do you go about this? Because if you lose, it's a huge, huge mm -hmm. loss, and if you win, everybody's going to say, okay, mm -hmm. so what? He beat some guy that he should have beaten. Yeah, no, uh, I just come, I just come prepared for every fight, like I would, if it's the best fighter there is, uh, to the worst fighter, I prepare the same, I don't understand me, nobody, and every fighter up there is really hard, so, uh, you never know. How excited are you to be the co-main feature on a card with Floyd Mayweather? Uh, I'm very excited, uh, this was my dream. When I was small, uh, growing up, that's why I trained really hard to make it to this level. And thanks to the fans, thanks to all of my people, they're the ones that got me here. I want to give them thanks, and I, on September 13th, I'm going to go out there and give a great fight for you guys. Thank you. All right, best of luck. We'll talk to you tomorrow night. Right, thank you. And I want to thank my manager, Al Heyman, for this opportunity. And show time, and Golden Boy, and maybe the promotion. All right, thank you, Leo. Thank you. All right, Brian Kenny, back to you. Manuel, it's an opportunity of a lifetime for you tomorrow night. What do you have to do to be victorious? Of course, we have to do anything, no matter what, we have to come out with the win tomorrow. How prepared, you've prepared your whole life for an opportunity like this. Do you have nerves now, anxious, butterflies? Of course, I believe all fighters have butterflies. I have butterflies, but hey, it's a great opportunity, like you said, and thanks to Leo and his team for that. It's pretty rare to see guys shake hands, smile with one another, and, and exchange whatever it is that you just exchanged. Is that because there's so much respect? Well, of course, I respect them like a fighter, like, and I respect, like, I respect anybody else. All right. <laughs>